Hi, I'm going to go through the process of setting up a subdomain with one on one internet. I find subdomains are very useful in extending the flexibility of your website and also getting the name out there. It's a very simple process but uh, there's a few pitfalls if, you, if you're not quite sure what you're doing so I'm going to go through it with you quickly. So I'm on the main control panel, I'm logged into one on one and I go to domains. I select new and I'm going to create a subdomain there. This one's going to be called electronics. We got I'm an electronics teacher. So I'm going to make a domain that deals specifically with electronics. I'm going to give it bluepill.co.uk. That's the domain I'm going to use. Now I'm going to press OK. And once it comes up, you'll see on the main control panel electronics.bluepill.co.uk and that's applying and that will take probably five to ten minutes okay, before so that's ready. Once you set up your subdomain you need to create a new database for that subdomain. So you go into MySQL administration that's uh, on the same kind of tab as the, the domain tab and you get the option to create a new database. Now to speed things up I've already made the database but it would be the same thing when you click this I'll just show you so if I was to click a new database here I give it I always give it the same name so it's the name of the subdomain so there's no confusion and the password uh, so that's what you do you, you select your own password there I've already set one up this is my database here it's uh, electronics as, as we uh, saw earlier and the, the three main things you need to be aware of the database name, username and host name all use the same effectively the same uh, code if, if that's what you want apart from small changes there's a, a an O added after the DB for the username and after the code you've got db1and1.com so you need to know those what I usually do at this point is I copy this this one on the far left here then I go into FileZilla now FileZilla is the program that I use to FTP my files up to the server the main thing you have to change for a WordPress installation this is my WordPress installation here it's already unpacked but the main thing you need to change is the config.php file right click on that and open it you'll see you have a file here and and the bits that we're really interested in are the DB name, DB user, the password and the host there and all I would do is cut and paste the the DB code that you got earlier cut and paste it in, I've already done it on this one just to save time the top one remains unchanged, you insert the O here for the user the password you're going to use, which I will change later, have no fear. And for the date for the database host here, you just cut and paste the code on the front bit there, and then you just save the file like so. The next thing you need to do in one and one is you go back into your domains. and you select the domain you're interested in and then you edit its destination and you come to this page home directory and you get a chance to create a new directory so I'm going to create a directory and it's going to be electronics because that's the folder that I'm going to upload my files to there So that will be that will be the address of my subdomain. And when I go back into FileZilla, I'll be able to upload my files to that directory there. You see I've refreshed, I've pressed off F5 and you can see the file, uh, the folder here, electronics. So you select the bits that you want to upload drag them, left click and drag until you get a little plus come up like that on the folder you want to upload to release and you can see all the files are uploading now 
to that web space. And it takes uh, can take a little bit of time, depends on your internet connection. Right then, so when you've successfully uploaded all your files, you're going to type the address of your subdomain into the address bar of uh, whichever browser you use. And then you're going to type wp admin forward slash install dot php just like that I've got it in caps it shouldn't really matter and that takes you to the WordPress installation you give the site a title I'm just going to call mine electronics call yours what you like a password um, so give yourself a password and your email and then it's just a case of install WordPress which doesn't often take very long and there you are and you can log in and change the various bits and pieces around that you need to do uh, but that would be for uh, for other people to go through or other videos in the, in the future okay i hope that helped out bye bye